Now, lefties are losing it over the Daily Wire's Jerry Boring's new film called Lady Ballers. Uh, let's have a little look at what we can expect from that film. Day one of being a girl athlete, I've already eaten a whole pint of pistachio ice cream, given up on parallel parking twice, reread Sense and Sensibility, and started washing down benzodiazepines with rose. <laughs> I love you, girl. How'd I do, ladies? Lady Ballers, streaming exclusively on Daily Wire Plus, December 1st. Now, the lefties are saying this film is bigoted and transphobic and poking fun at vulnerable people and, and mocking womanhood. But isn't that what Dylan Mulvaney is doing, the trans activist who became that Bud Light ambassador for all of five minutes? Isn't his Girlhood journey, mocking girls and women. Have a look. Day one of being a girl, and I have already cried three times. I wrote a scathing email that I did not send. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford. And then uh, when someone asked me how I was, I said, I'm fine, when I wasn't fine. So, how'd I do, ladies? Good? Girl power. Talk about... Uh... <laughs> beyond parody. It's really hard to parody that. They have tried, though. Now, let's go to crime-riddled Chicago, where the mayor, Brandon Johnson, is making all sorts of excuses and incredibly blaming right-wing extremists and Republicans for the unholy mess that is Chicago. You know, what we've seen is a very raggedy form um, instituted by right-wing extremism. Um, everyone knows that the right-wing extremism in this country has targeted democratically ran cities. And quite frankly, uh, they've been very intentional about going after democratically ran cities that are led by people of color. And their whole motivation is to create disruption and chaos because that's what this, that particular party has been about. The logic there escapes me because uh, Chicago, crime riddled Chicago, has been under democratic rule for decades. Uh, since 1931, the last Republican mayor was elected in 1927. So how you can uh, blame right-wing extremists and Republicans for what's happening there is again, beyond me. Now, let's go to the very droll Daniel Ryan Spaulding, who is again mocking the useful idiots of the left who are pushing Hamas's agenda. If there was a Hamas terrorist attack at a queer rave in Brooklyn or Berlin, there'd probably be a purple-haired girl in the center of the massacre watching all her friends be brutally murdered. It's okay, guys. Resistance is justified when people are occupied. It's Israel's fault. Her best friends being burned alive and mutilated. It's okay, Michaela. Take one for the team. She'd probably take a knife and start stabbing herself. I'm fighting apartheid. Maybe you should reserve your anger for the radical Islamic Nazi death cult that started this war by massacring 1,500 innocent people and doesn't give a shit about their own people and uses them as human shields. Oh, but that's a little scary to say, right? Because those are the people that'll actually come and kill you. I guess it's easier to just spew a bunch of anti-Semitic hate and say that Israel shouldn't exist and all those Jewish people, they had it coming, right? Well, you know what? You're not a peace-loving person. You're not a part of a resistance movement. What you are is the kid in elementary school who sides with the bully because he's too scared to stand up for himself. You are an intellectually dishonest coward and everybody knows it. And the only reason no one says it to your face is because having a conversation with you is insufferable. <laughs> now let's go to a bunch of TikTok types discovering the Quran. I started uh, reading Quran. I just started reading the Quran. So I've been reading the Quran and I have a... Salam. Good morning. Uh... And this is why so many people are starting to read the Quran. So I ordered a Quran. I just started reading the Quran and I am so excited about it. 